Al Qamar, the moon. With the name of Allah, the most gracious, the ever merciful. The hour of doom of the enemies of the Prophet has drawn nigh, and to indicate it, the moon is rent asunder. Yet, whenever these disbelievers see a sign, they turn away, paying it no heed, and say, It is an oft-repeated and tremendous illusion. They have cried lies even to this sign, and have followed their low desires. Yet every decree of God shall certainly come to pass. And certainly there has already come to them the important accounts concerning the fate of the ancients, in which there is provision of abstaining from obstinately following the wrong course. And wherein is profound and perfect wisdom, but the warnings were of no avail to them. Therefore turn away from them, and await the day when the summoner will summon them to a most disagreeable thing. While with the sense of remorse their eyes will be downcast, they will come forth from their graves as though they were swarms of locusts being scattered about. Rushing headlong towards the summoner, the disbelievers will say, This is a hard day. The people of Noah cried lies to our prophets before them. Accordingly, they rejected our servant and said about him, A madman, and one who is spurned and chided by our idols. At last he prayed to his Lord, saying, I am overcome, so come to my help to defend me. Thereupon we opened the gates of the clouds and allowed water to pour down in torrents. And we caused the land to burst with gushing springs, so that the two waters gathered together for a great purpose of divine punishment that was decreed. And we bore him on that ark which was made of planks and nails. It floated on the waters of the deluge under our supervision and care. This punishment was for the sake of him who had been denied. And we left this incident of deluge for the succeeding generations to serve them as a sign. But is there anyone who would take heed? Then behold how terrible was my punishment and how true my warning. Indeed, we have made the Qur'an easy for admonition and to understand, follow, and remember. But is there anyone who would take heed? The tribe of Ad, too, cried lies to the warning of the prophet Hud. And behold, how terrible was my punishment, and how true my warning. We let loose upon them a clamorous and alarmingly furious wind on a day when the sky remained red like copper till long. It, the howling wind, tore the people away as though they were the hollowed stumps of uprooted palm trees. Behold how terrible was my punishment, and how true my warning. And we have indeed made the Qur'an easy for admonition, and to understand, follow, and remember. But is there anyone who would take heed? The tribe of Thamud, too in rejecting Salih, cried lies to all the divine warners. And they said, Shall we follow a man who hails from ourselves and is all alone? If we do indeed, we in that case would be involved in a great error and suffering from insanity. Is it that from amongst all of us? The reminder has been revealed to him alone? Nay, what he says is wrong. He is an impudent liar and self-conceited. God said to Salih, Very shortly shall they know who is the impudent liar and self-conceited. We, in order to distinguish the good from the bad of them, are going to send a she-camel in a state that she is not to be interfered with in any way. Therefore, wait till the end comes, and patiently persevere against their insults. And inform them that their water is to be shared by them, and the she-camel, each time of drinking to be attended by everyone in turns. Thereupon they called their comrade who seized her, quite unlawfully, with the help of others, 
and hamstrung her, and they were then overtaken by a calamity. And behold, how terrible then was my punishment, and how true my warning. And we let loose a single and sudden blast against them, and they became crushed like dry twigs, whittled down by an enclosure maker. And we have made the Qur'an easy for admonition, and to understand, follow, and remember. But is there anyone who would take heed? Lot's people also in rejecting Lot cried lies to all the divine warners. We let loose a destructive storm upon all of them except the family of Lot, whom we delivered through our mercy from the punishment by early dawn. It was a favor from us. That is how we reward those who give thanks. While he, Lot, had warned them of our seizure with punishment, but they doubted this warning and disputed over it. And they deceitfully sought to turn him away from his guests. So we put a covering on their eyes, and we said to them, Now taste my punishment and suffer the consequences of ignoring my warning. And certainly there overtook them early in the morning a lasting punishment. Now taste my punishment and suffer the consequences of ignoring my warning. And indeed we have made the Qur'an easy for admonition and to understand, follow, and remember. But is there anyone who would take heed? And surely the warners came to the people of Pharaoh also. But they cried lies to all our signs. So we took them to task such as befitted the mighty, the powerful. Are those of you who are disbelievers better than these? Or have you been promised amnesty from punishment in the previous scriptures? Or do Meccan disbelievers say, We are a united force capable of defending one another against any calamity? Soon that united force shall surely be routed. They will turn their backs and flee before the Muslims. The promised hour of their complete discomfiture is their appointed time. The fact is that the hour will be grievously calamitous and most bitter. Surely the guilty are involved in clear error and suffering from insanity. On that day they shall be dragged on their faces into the fire of the battle. It will be said to them, Suffer the smite of fire. Verily, all things have we created in correct proportion and measure. Our command is at once carried out by only one word as quickly as the twinkling of an eye. We have surely destroyed gangs of people like you, O oh, disbelievers before. But is there anyone who would take heed? Everything they did is recorded in scrolls of deeds. And everything, small and big, has been noted down. That is why those who became secure against evil and were dutiful to God shall be amidst gardens and bounties, occupying positions of honor and excellence with the omnipotent sovereign.